All right. This is a sneaky great game. Yes, it Tampa is. Tampa Bay Buccaneers at Indianapolis, the place where Tom Brady lost a Super Bowl to the Giants. The Colts, a team that has bedeviled Brady at times. Yeah. The team that they didn't necessarily light the fuse, but they poured gasoline on the deflate gate fuse. That's for damn sure. Thanks to Dequell Jackson taking that deflated football to the sidelines. Three point favorites are the Buccaneers, 51 and a half. It's the highest over under of the week. The Colts are looking good. The Bucs, much better at home than on the road. Do the Colts prevent the Bucs? from getting a much-needed road win, Chris. It's an interesting game. And, uh, I mean, listen, I, this is two teams that are hot. You know, or at least the Bucks are hot after one one game. They've changed my thought a little bit, the way they looked the other night. I know it was the Giants, but, you know, with Gronk healthy, uh, yes, Sean Murphy bunting back on the, on the defensive side of the ball, yeah, I, it, it, it makes me think a little different of them. You know, so, yeah, Jamel Dean, he's healthy at corner. So I look at the Bucks to me as still kind of I think they're starting that incline like we saw last year. Gronk being back on the offensive side of the ball is huge. It's one more mismatch you've got to worry about with Evans and Godwin. I think the Bucks also realize, hey, they got to run the ball a little bit. It just helps Brady. It helps him feel more comfortable. It helps protect him. You know, so I'm I'm looking at the biggest thing is do I think the Colts can pressure Brady with just the front four? And I guess I'm saying no. I don't think they're going to be able to do it consistently enough. It's a good front four with the Colts. I don't think it's a great front four. And on the back end there, I don't think they're talented enough to slow Brady and company down. You know, the other side of the ball, hey, can the Colts, like, run the ball the way they've been with Jonathan Taylor? I think they can run the ball just about on anybody in football, except I just don't know if I'm ready to say that with the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm not. You know, so I don't know. In this type of game, I'm going with Brady and the Bucks on the road, I think they're going to start their climb to remind us that they're the best, one of the best teams in football, if not the best, despite how much you know better the Colts have played over the last five or six weeks. Thirty to twenty-four bucks. Wow, I got thirty to twenty-three. I got thirty to twenty-three. I didn't punch it in, but that's my score. Thirty to twenty-three. I, I, I the Colts have been very good recently, and they have reached a new level since the loss to the Titans. They haven't given up. But no. They're getting the Bucs at a bad time. The Bucs are starting to figure things out, and Gronk coming back is a huge part of that. There was a confidence the other night. I know it's short week and it's road trip, but they understand the importance of getting this win and continuing on the right track if they want to force the road to the Super Bowl through their stadium. Last year they went on the road every step of the way to a Super Bowl that was played in their stadium this year. I think they need those home games, and they need to get this win in the sight of a Super Bowl. And Tom Brady needs to muster all of that hatred of the Colts to to find a way to get this win, and I think he will. I think it's going to be one of the best games of the week, but I like the Bucks by a touchdown, 30-23. to 23. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.